Hey everybody, we are gonna do a little farmer gust today. We're gonna to take the tractor here and we are going to make a snow plow. So as you can see, we've kind of picked up a um, rusty old snow plow. Um, so we're gonna take this snow plow, which was made for, actually it was made for a truck originally and then somebody hooked it up and um, they've got these mounts sort of used as a, like a three point on a tractor. What we're going to do is take those mounts and weld them to this universal plate. So you can buy these on Amazon pretty cheap. Um, and basically it's just a quick attach plate that goes on the front of the tractor. So rather than the bucket, we'll put this on here. But essentially what we're going to do is weld this snow plow to this quick attach plate and then attempt to take the hydraulic lines, which are sort of old, rusty, and not made for this um, tractor. Uh, makes that hydraulic line so we can control it from in the cab and then we'll be able to side shift and um, move this thing from side to side but kind of uh, like I said a rusty old plow but it's pretty heavy duty um, it's all steel so we'll get started all right so we've got our quick attach plate on the front of the tractor um, got it somewhat vertical not super critical um, the challenge we got right now is the hydraulics are not straight on the plow right now. So we're gonna try and get this bracket centered in the quick attach plate. So I gotta do some measuring. And then ultimately we're just trying to get this somewhat level so that the snow plow is curled over, the plow plows the snow, nothing hits the ground while we're plowing. Um, and that'll be our goal. So um, I'm gonna do a little bit of measuring on our plate here. We'll grind some paint off, get this thing ready. All right, so we've cleaned up our mounts, but we're gonna do some welding on them, ground the paint off. Did the same thing over here. So what we're gonna do now, we found our center line. We're gonna just kind of rough mark out our two spots so that we can try and get this thing on here level. All right, we are about to see if I remember how to weld. So we got the welder set up over here. Got the helmet on. Over here, we've got our spots ground down. We marked everything from center. And so we're just gonna go ahead and get these bad boys welded on here. Well, it turns out I do know how to weld again, or steel, rather. <laughs> steel and steel, that's not a fun, but. Um, so we got the uh, main plow mount welded to our quick attach. I decided to cut a couple pieces of tube support here. Um, I think on the original setup they used this hunk of rusty chain and then chained it to a middle point up here, but I figure if we're going to be using it on the tractor, you might as well reinforce it so that it doesn't uh, pull away. So I've got those just tacked in place, so now we're going to buzz those in. All right, now we've got both of these sides welded in, top and bottom. So we should be nice and solid. In theory, this thing is now securely connected to the tractor. Now the trick is going to get this thing to work from the cab, hook up these hydraulics. Um, so we're going to get started on that. i got to put a reducer in these cylinders, uh, but I think we'll start at the back and work our way up front. So what we're doing, um, we've got some of these quick attach fittings. So these kind of work like a coupler on an air compressor. Essentially, you just click them together. Then they stick together and so we're going to make it so that this is removable like i said we've got some old lines here so um i think uh, we have to do a reducer on this so we're actually going to have to um, pull this rusty pin out which i'm sure will be a real joy pull that cotter pin pull this pin out and then spin that adapter on because i don't think there's enough room to get this one off um because you see if we got to turn it it's not gonna, it's gonna hit over here. So we'll have to pull this cylinder out and put that adapter on. These ones are vertical, the new ones, so it'll come straight out, come straight up. And rather than having this old style, that's kind of rusty on here, it'll attach to our new one that we have right here. Um, and we should be good to go. So it actually turns out those rusty old pins came out really pretty easy. So we've got our new uh, adapters you can see there, because we're using, like I said, the uh, half inch hose and the and then the uh, um, three eighths or quarter inch hose that was on there before. So we got our new adapters on both sides, they're vertical. This side's actually 
connected. This side we just got done, another one, as you can see, the hydraulic fluid. Uh, put the end on this one, run the other hose, and we should just hook it up and we'll find out if it works or not. All right, so the last piece here, we are going to hook up our quick connects to the rear remotes on the John Deere. And then I haven't bled the lines, so I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but we're gonna get in and pull the hydraulic lever and um, see if it moves. But obviously these are brand new lines that don't have any hydraulic fluid in them. So um, if it doesn't work, I'll have to see if we can get uh, Miss Farmer Gus out here and I'll probably have to hold pressure on the lines and then crack it open the front and try and get the air out unless this thing somehow auto bleeds the lines. So you'll find out live once we do that next. All right, moment of truth. We are going to fire up the tractor and uh, one, we'll lift it up first and see if she stays attached. And then two, we'll see if this hydraulics work by using this little lever right here. So, up we go, slowly. Oh, look at that. It goes up. Now, we're going to move the lever that controls the rear remotes and see if she does anything. Negative. Oh, maybe it just bled the line for ourselves. Oh, look at that, folks. Awesome. That's exactly what we were hoping for. Well, so that's going to allow us to plow some snow. At least on first inspection, it doesn't look like this is jamming into anything. What I am going to do is cut this mess of chain off here um, and then check our hydraulic fluid and we should be good to go. So we managed to get all the excess chain out of there and I am not a snowplow guy, but I would guess that this chain is what ultimately keeps this blade from, because the blade is hinged right here and can ultimately kind of you know, bend forward. And so this chain, chain is, I'm guessing, kind of the over limit protection so that it stretches, doesn't stretch the springs out, which, I mean, like I said, I got this thing for cheap. So you can see that one maybe had a little stretch to it. So um, this is a really kind of cobbled together mess. You can see there's a piece of chain down there. Part of a bracket that's broken right there. The rest of it's on the shelf. So I think maybe I'll re-weld that bracket on. Um, clean that up and then that way if I need to I can make any adjustments with the chain and she's done actually maybe we need to tighten the hydraulic fittings in a couple of spots just to be sure you can see we kind of got a leak there so you just double check these connections but zip tied some stuff out of the way and it moves left to right so I think we are ready to plow should we get a snowstorm <laughs> 